Hey, Arius. Arius, I hope you're doing good. Welcome back, and I'm glad to be back. Um, most of you don't know, but most of you do know. I got into a car accident on the 6th, so I came back. I was guided in to do tarot. I'm in pain. I'm not even going to lie. I have a, a little fracture in one knee and, you know, a torn ligament on the other. So... I'm here. Let's see what's up with Aries. Lucifer, you can't be doing that. Lucifer, get off the camera. Uh-uh. That's my cat. He's trying to get to the camera because he loves tarot. No. Okay, Aries. Let's see what's going on with you. I'm going to pull out some angel cards, see what the angels want you to know. Remember, Aries, I could be picking up on you, the cross watcher, a third party, even a person that surrounds you. I could be picking up their um, energy. If it doesn't resonate with you, if you're um, a person that's triggered, and I'm going to say it on all my videos from now on because... You know, when I start channeling, sometimes there's a lot of negative things that come out. A lot of, like, you know, things that get triggered for people because I feel it. And it could be really bad things that come out. I could be picking up on a murder, you know. And it doesn't mean it's going to happen. It's just things that I'm seeing. And it doesn't mean that it's for the collective. It's just what I'm seeing. It could be somebody that I don't even know across the street. You feel me? So, if you are sensitive, if you get triggered, if you get emotionally triggered for any type of reason, click off. Okay, if you see anything that you don't like to hear, just click off, okay? But just know that when I channel, I cannot control what I see or hear or feel, okay? So, you could either, you could also reverse the roles, okay? Morning Star, come here. Come here, Morning Star. Come here, Morning Star. Come here, say hi. Come here, Morning Star. Yeah, they're happy because I haven't done tarot in a while in the table. That's Morning Star. Morning Star, say hi. Say hi. Say hi, Aries. Hi, Aries. This is Morning Star. Morning Star. Okay, yeah, he's saying hi. Hi, say hi. Okay, no, that's it. You can I kiss the camera. Okay, Morning Star, let's go. We're doing Aries. You're a Libra. Okay. Sorry for that, but they're all around me. Lucifer's over here behind me. Okay, let's see. Muneda. What is spirit? Um... Morning Star, are you serious? Hold on, guys. Morning Star is being um, a little spoiled bright right now. Okay, let's go. Let's get it. For Aries, what do the angels want Aries to know right now? Spirit, what is Aries sneaking out right now from the angels? What angel is guiding Aries? What angel is guiding Aries? That wanted to fly out. Family. Angel of abundance. And you got angel of detoxification. So somebody might be suffering from um a drinking problem, an over medicating problem. It could be you have painkillers, you're in pain. It could be that you take, you know, psychiatric medications. It could be over-the-counter medications. It could be any type of thing. It could be anything. But there's an angel trying to guide you. I feel somebody sad, very sad. I feel like somebody feels very lonely. I feel like somebody feels that that's the only way out. That is not the only way out. But I feel like there's something that's happening here. Maybe, um, I don't know why I'm picking up a loss here of someone, a past loved one. And this has brought somebody to the point of either drinking themselves to numb themselves or overdoing it in some type of way. But it's mostly to, you know, I'm just picking up a lot of sadness what I'm picking up here. On someone. I feel like you're overwhelmed for somebody here in Aries. I feel like... You don't know where to turn to. And I feel like there's an angel trying to guide you. Or even a guide. You you might have seen something. Or spark of something that has given you like some type of like, okay, what was that? I feel like it's a guide trying to guide you here. Even those are angel cards. I feel like it's a spiritual guide of yours. It might be your main spiritual guide. That's trying to guide you. But it's like somebody here is not paying attention or not seeing the signs. It's like you're very, very sad is what I'm seeing for somebody. 
There's abundance coming in here. There's something that somebody's trying to create here. And it's going to bring a lot of success. If you're not already re receiving success, a lot of success is coming your way. I see like a free person, like a free spirit for some of you. You like to do you like to um live like a free spirit, like travel, free, like walking. I'm not gonna say you're doing that right now, but I'm saying like walking the forest, be free, riding horses, like a dream like that is what I'm picking up. Just being free. If that's what you want, live it. If that's what you feel, live it. You know, if you want to live in a place where there's a forest and you want to be free or just travel, do it. Because I also see traveling here. But I see a lot of like um sadness in a person here. I'm picking up a girl. Um, it could be a um like an ombre color over here is what I'm seeing. That that person's gonna receive something. Either some abundance is coming in or you're trying to or get a job or something like that, but something's coming in here. Number eight could be significant for somebody here. I'm getting the number eight. Maybe a new place. I feel like some of you need to move. Where you want to move from where you're at right now. You're not feeling comfortable anymore where you're living at. It could be with a person. But I feel like there's going to be a new place coming. You're, and you're at, least, you're at least, oh God, I can't. The full moon is coming. It gets me stuck too. Um, I feel like some of you want to move. Or you're looking for a better place. Or you just don't feel comfortable where you're at right now. Or who you're living with. If you put your effort you are gonna move or you are gonna buy whatever it is but there's abundance coming your way there's there's guys here trying to help you here there might be a money situation going on right now but for some of you i see you're doing good with money you're doing very good with money so if you if you want to i know everything is high right now everything's expensive and they're gonna they're about to take really lucifer i can't i can't Really, Lucifer? Look where he came out of. I can't. Lucifer, Aries, y'all gonna get a gift. Because remember, listen, cats are good luck. Cats bring so much good luck and so much good energy that my cats have never done this in the reading. So, just by seeing Lucifer come in through <laughs> the, the drapes is like, and Morningstar getting on the table is like, I feel like luck is coming your way. I feel like intuition you know, you're picking up a lot of things and you're not realizing that what you're picking up is real. If somebody ever tells you that what you're saying is not real, ignore that. Okay? You have blessings coming in. You have two ways to go. You have two decisions. Decision, oh, God. Decisions to make here is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, changes are coming for sure. Let me see areas. Somebody, yeah, listen. <clears throat> you got abundance coming here. The Ten of Pentacles. You have negotiations, whatever it is, if it's in your job, career, you know, somebody coming up to you. But you got two options is what I'm picking up here. Oh, God. The new moon's going to mess me up this year. I feel like either it's two people that are coming your way or there's two people you have to make a decision about. But this is more like a negotiation. This is more like money. This is more like you have to make a change because the wheel hasn't been turning for you. You've been uh, receiving bad luck, okay? You're changing. You have removed a lot of things out of your life. You're trying to strive more for your stability, and it's going to come. But you need to move because the wheel in reverse with changes is like somebody here is interrupting the way that you're moving. You feel me? It's the way that I'm picking it up. Remember, I could be seeing the, the cards, but I'm hearing something else. Somebody has been interrupting you and has caused towers, but this tower is going to diminish because you put a lot of effort and change here. You're moving forward, and you're trying to bring as much abundance, and I feel like you're living from day to day, and that's okay. We all live today. We all don't live day to day, but I could tell you that I live today to day, so that's okay. But somebody here is really heartbroken here. Somebody here turned everything around. Yeah, the tower. Somebody here that you were dealing with or family, it doesn't matter, has caused a lot of emotional stress towards you. It's like you're hurt about something here. I feel like whatever it is that turned this wheel upside down was a person here that did too much. 
I feel like you tried to change this person and tried everything you can, gave it all you could. I feel like you took care of this person the best way you could or a situation or a family. I'm picking up a lot of family here. And all they ever done is put you down. You're going to move forward. These tears that are coming down from somebody's face here areas are going to diminish because that tower is going to diminish. There's light coming down on that tower. It's going to diminish. I'm hearing a lot of money here. The Ten of Pentacles is in the bottom of the deck. Okay, so listen. I know you've been stabbed in the back because I see it. I know there's a person here that did a lot when it came to um doing themselves and not you. I feel like <clears throat> you would put... Oh, the bad burner. Back burner. This was most definitely a soul connection, a marriage, a commitment, a soul connection. Somebody that at some point was very really loyal or you were very really loyal to this person. The Queen of Cups is in the table. You've been hurt by somebody here really bad. Somebody here that when you were um, either building your stability <clears throat> or getting to where you wanted. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I just love sage and I'm allergic to sage. I feel like um somebody here, when you were moving forward and changing things, it could be in a job too. Somebody twisted everything around and made it worse for you. You know, but I feel like things are gonna get better. I feel like with all the love and all the, um, I feel like you're a person that moves fast when you want something. If it doesn't give, you look somewhere else. It could be a cancer here that's bothering you or that had a problem with you. You have to choose here between two things or two people here that are coming your way. You've been hurt too much. I know that there's someone here that cries and doesn't let nobody see you cry. There's a person here that smiles around everybody, gives a lot of people a lot of encouragement and happiness. And it's the, you know, like the happiness of the group, but inside you cry. It's like you're really hurt. People don't know this. You need to, like, move forward. There's a lot of towers you're going to break moving forward. You're going to break a lot of towers. Because you have a lot of faith. There's been a lot of arguing here. A lot of fights. A lot of chaos. A lot of drama around you. This could be even in your circle of friends. You're minding your own business areas. You're too busy wanting to love yourself and doing things for yourself. If you have a career that you want right now, you need to move forward. But there's somebody here disturbing you moving forward here. I feel like whatever you're suffering inside is not letting you move forward. You need to put that to the side and keep on moving. There's a person here that, has, that likes to cause a lot of problems when it comes to you and them. And it could be a person you were dealing with, but I feel like there's a lot of family members and friends here that are problems. There's a particular family member here, and I'm going to say it's a female, that is a big problem here, that has deceived you. I don't know if you know this, but you have a family member here that deceived you with your own person. And it could be anything. It doesn't have to be sex. It could be anything. There was a lot of movement of money here at some point. And it all diminished in seconds. You need to stop fighting your mind and start moving forward. But somebody most definitely here has left you so heartbroken. But you're a person that loves no matter what. You're a person that forgives. You're a person that keeps... You keep bottled inside. Okay? And I feel like you've taken too much. And I feel like if you are in a situation right now with a person, you take everything and you bottle it inside. And you take all the arguments. Or you did. And whatever it is, you bottle it inside and you keep on moving. You cannot no longer be like that because that's going to be tower after tower after tower, depression after depression, and you crying inside and not moving forward. 
you need to demolish this motherfucking tower. Okay? With the love that you have inside. And the ability to move forward and find someone that respects you and honors you and not fighting all day long. This could be you, Aries, but it could be somebody else that I'm picking up on. But you need to put a lot of effort here moving forward because I feel like you've been hurt so much that it's like you're loving yourself. You want to be loved. I feel like you want to move forward. I feel like you want, you know, things to move in a certain way to meet somebody to make you happy. But it's like every time you meet somebody, there's always a problem. I feel like you're seeing um, things at night or whatever, but let me see. No, I'm not going to throw this down right now. No. Be careful with somebody having a problem with the police in your house or around you. Because I feel like somebody is really troubled. And it doesn't have to be you or your family. But there's somebody that's really troubled in your energy. Take that off your energy because it brings a lot of bad energy to yours. You could deal with an Aries. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, more Scorpio, Libra, Leo, Cap, not Cap, well, I was going to say Capricorn again, so you might have Capricorn in your chart, you're dealing with a strong Capricorn. The loyalty was broken here. You want to forgive somebody here. But at the same time, you're not forgiving yourself. Why are you not forgiving yourself? There's something here that's bothering you and you're not forgiving yourself for it. Hmm. The sadness that I'm feeling right here right now is... I feel like you're feeling guilty about something and you're not forgiving yourself. What, Whatever the case is here, you need to forgive yourself and keep on moving and heal. Every day do a little something to feel good. That's the only healing that I could recommend and give advice to do on a daily basis. Is do a little something for yourself and do something that makes you happy that day and get up in the morning and do something different or the same routine, whatever it is. But that's how you heal every day. And make a little, you know, excitement and happiness to your life. But you got a lot of to give here. It's like you're a person that loves. And when you love, you're very loyal. There's a lot of changes coming here. But it has to come from you. Whoever comes at you with drama, chaos, you know, hypocrisy, you know, he say, she say, whatever, dismiss it. There's a lot of people here arguing in a home. And I feel like somebody already left the home here because of the argument. Could have been when you grew up with your parents, whatever it was. But I feel like that hasn't stopped. I see a mother here that suffered a lot raising a child here. Raising one of you, Aries, is here. Suffered a lot. But at the same time with her suffering, she left a child behind. That wasn't right. Her suffering, her problems, her anger, her whatever the fuck she was going through had no... Had no... um excuses for leaving a child behind and I feel like somebody is suffering a lot because of that let me see what else here is for Aries what else is here for Aries what else you're gonna be fine Aries you're very hard of character. I'm seeing you're very hard of character. Like, you're very sweet, but don't fuck with me, is what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm feeling here. That wheel, I <laughs> came back upright, okay? So, listen. If there was a situation where you were going through it, or there's a situation where you're going through it, you're going to be good. You're going to keep on moving forward. You're going to have fun. You're probably, you're probably going to meet somebody. But this is more like... Being happy within yourself, with people. Surround yourself with people that bring you enlightenment, that bring you happiness, that make you laugh. You feel me? But I feel like you're going to meet somebody you already did. There's a king of swords here. Within the family. Yeah. That has caused a lot of major problems here. 
there's somebody in your family here that's very conniving here. It could be your person that you were dealing with or you're dealing with now. I feel like um, you've given the best that you can. And I feel like you've some of you have given up on love here. It's like you don't trust, you don't believe in love. It's like you'd rather be alone than to be with anybody else. But I feel like there's a king of swords here that has done too much. There's somebody very controlling here with the whole damn family. There's somebody that tends to like lick their finger. I don't know why I'm seeing that. They, they lick their finger. It's like a habit. Or maybe they suck their thumb. No matter what age it is. But it's a habit. But there's something about that person. Whoever that person is. That person is very conniving. It could be inside your family. It could be a friend. But you need to listen. You've put a lot of strength and effort. And to move forward. There's a lot of things here that you want. But you're, you're blocking yourself here from moving forward. There's, you got the Ten of Cups here. But there's somebody here that you need to remove that's very controlling. It could be the past. It could be a person that was in your in your life at some point. But it could be, I feel like this person is still here. Be careful meeting somebody and them trying to come in, trying to control your energy. And come in with secrets and things hidden. And you, you know, I feel like you don't want to move forward because of that. I feel like you probably met somebody, and it's like, this person was full of um, shit that you don't want in your life. You have a lot of strength here. I'm telling you, somebody here, listen, you've rested a lot. You've done your resting. I feel like, you know, you chill a lot. I feel like you rest a lot. I feel like it's time to get up and go. And when I mean go, those ten of cups is waiting for you. You feel me? It doesn't have to be a person. It could be a group of friends. It could be, you know, whatever it is. If somebody is interrupting. There's somebody in your job that's very... Oh, God. There's somebody in your job that's a very... Okay, listen. There's somebody in your job that's stealing. Areas. There's somebody in your job that's stealing money. Be careful this person doesn't blame it on you already has or tries to blame it on you because there's a person in your job here that wants you out of the job for some reason. They just envy you for no reason. You had a problem with somebody here in your job. And it's like you look at them like, what the fuck? I dismiss you, but this person has something up their sleeve in the job. Whatever job you do, it doesn't matter if you hustle. There's somebody here that's plotting something in a job. And it could be, you know what, the boss could be involved. There's somebody sleeping with somebody here in a job. If you're sleeping with your boss, you got something going on with your boss, and you're going out partying with your boss, or whatever it is, be careful that somebody don't get caught here by the wife or the husband. Because I feel like somebody has a family here. You met somebody here. Some of you, Aries, has met somebody here, and they have a family. You either know it or don't know it, but somebody who has a family, they have kids and everything. But this person's also cheating with somebody else in a job. I don't know why this is coming in so strong, but damn, like, whoever this boss is, manager, supervisor, whoever it is, is sleeping with, may possibly two people in their job. And if Arius, one of you is this person, listen, <laughs> The sun came out. You might just be waiting for somebody here. In this particular situation with the job here and this person, somebody can get pregnant or somebody got pregnant. Be careful whoever I'm talking to here because there is this is very specific and maybe for one person or two. But your happiness is coming in. You've done you've done a lot of resting here. You've thought about your things. You know what you want. You put a lot of effort and strength in moving forward. You want the family life. But you're holding your own self back is what I'm picking up here. This conniving ass motherfucker that I'm seeing here could destroy a whole damn family and more. So be careful with somebody here. It doesn't stop. It could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. That motherfucker doesn't stop. But I'm telling you here, somebody's pregnant or somebody's going to get pregnant here. Be careful with a fall or something like that because I feel like somebody's going to fall or fell. 
and something's wrong with the hip or the leg, be careful with a fall. I'm seeing a very clear lean. Let me see something here. You're most definitely going to get your Ten of Cups. Whatever you want, you desire. Whatever you want, you can make it. Whatever you need, you're going to get it. But when it comes to relationship and love, I feel like it's coming in. I feel like you're going to be happy, but I feel like you're holding back. It's like you're guarded. You're very guarded, Arias. You're very guarded. It's like you're very, very guarded. It's like you're trying to like look for the right one. You want somebody to come in, but you're blocking your own self from that. There's money coming in. There's a lot of love coming in here. There's love coming in here. But I feel like you have an envious friend or a family member, and I'm picking up a lot of envy of one particular person in your job. There's somebody here with um, puffy hair. Um, I don't know if it's a wig or puffy hair or their own um, afro, whatever it is, or a person that wears their hair puffy, curly hair, whatever it is, that is a big problem here. They pretend to be uh, your friend they're not or a family member. They're very hypocritical. I feel like... <coughs> If you have a child, it's like they want to control your child. It's an older person here that I'm seeing here. It's an older person. Somebody's missing their mom here that passed away. Somebody here is missing their mom. I'm seeing a lady with like a pinkish, reddish shirt. I can't detail the color. I feel like somebody here had a baby and your mom passed away and you wish she would have met your child. She already met your child. You have a lot of strength in you. You're a person that strives for a lot of things. You have to keep on moving. You're going to have a lot of people coming your way with a lot of conniving ass energies. You need to follow your intuition, follow your instincts. And don't let these people in because your strength is going to overpower all these motherfuckers. When I tell you your strength is going to power all these motherfuckers that are coming your way, you have no idea the strength that I'm seeing here in some of your areas. And it could be all. But there's all strength here. And that wheel is going to move forward. It's going to bring you to your happiness. You're going to meet somebody here. That you're probably not going to want to be with. I'm laughing because I see it's so cute. You're probably not going to want to be with this person. Or you're scared. Or I feel like somebody's nervous here. And you're going to push, try to push away. But that person's going to get inside your heart. Let me see something here. Okay, so that flew. That did a 360 in there. What the fuck? Somebody got receipts on you. They got black and white photos, messages. They keep tabs on you. So somebody here could be keeping tabs on you. It could be an ex. It could be a person. It could be a family member. I'm telling you, have, have envy here. A lot of envy here. There could possibly be a Leo here or a water sign that envies you severely. Somebody that likes the color green for some reason or wears a lot of green. Or maybe you would like the color green. That's your favorite color. I messed up. I messed this up bad. I need to make up to you in this lifetime. So somebody here feels like they messed you up. Or it could be a person that you no longer speak to, you haven't seen in years. It doesn't matter who it is. But I feel like they want to make it up to you in this lifetime. And possibly it could be somebody that, I don't know, some of you want back, but some of you don't. But I feel like somebody wants to make it up to you. I feel like they've changed. They've done a lot of thinking here. And it doesn't mean you have to go back with a person, but I feel like they want to make it up to you here. It's possible that it's a twin flame. 
of yours or a soulmate or somebody you loved at some point really really hard and just everything went wrong there was a lot of love here between you and a person here a lot of happened at some point but this person took you down to a point where you could not take it anymore very controlling person it was their way or no way a lot of anger in this person and you had to move away with a lot of strength because you did not want to leave this person <clears throat> no matter what they did the love that you had for this person was getting in the way I feel that this person wants to make it up to you this was a twin flame or a soulmate connection yeah with somebody here let me see someone loves you someone loves to see shit go down between you and your person they console you to find out more a lot of gossip I'm telling you, you have friends here but I'm picking a family member that is very conniving, very hypocritical. You cannot trust this person. Don't tell them your things. Tell them your things backwards. If you're doing good, you're doing bad. I'm doing bad. If you're doing bad, you're doing good. You just don't talk to them. Don't bring them around you because they love to see shit go down. They love to see you in the chaos. They love to see you fight with your person, with your family members, or whoever it is. And then they get next to you to find out, to console you. Oh my God, let me talk to you. I'll give you advice. Just to find out shit is like gossiping back and forth. That person's a fucking hypocrite. Mm -mm. Somebody here is wishing for something. Ask the universe and the universe will give it to you. But I feel like you've been waiting for a long time for somebody to come in. And not even like in a in a sexual way or like... You know, a whole love way. Just like a person just to be able to be there around that's really, really, like, trustable. Because there's some people that don't like that. They just want love. No matter what the circumstances are. Somebody here is a person that hears things and sees things. You might be seeing things, hearing things. Um, try to pick up the signs of what that means. Okay? 1048 for some reason just came to my head. So I don't know if you're seeing 1048 a lot or 1040. But look those angels numbers up or spiritual meanings because it just came to my head. Somebody here is keeping tabs on you. And I believe it's somebody from your family or a friend. That you either call family or is close to the family. They've caused a lot of problems here behind the scenes. Don't trust this person. If they say, oh, I'm sorry, you know... If, uh, I want to talk to you or you find out anything, don't trust this person. They're not trustable. Let me see. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Love is coming your way. You got the sun card here. Happiness, success, abundance, family, whatever you want. And you got the ten of cups together. Love is coming your way. Success, abundance, family. You know, if you have children, if they have children, if you create children together, whatever it is, is coming your way. Don't let that pass you by. And don't let nobody stand in your way. And keep your friends away from people if you got any friends. Because me, I don't got no friends. Let me see. I don't bring friends to my circle. Let me see something. I used to be a person that had a lot of friends. I was always chilling. I had so many people around me. It was pathetic. And I would give rise to everybody, everybody in my car, chilling, going out, partying. Nobody's seen me for eight years. Nobody knows about me. If they asked for maybe, uh, we don't know. Why? And, I, and it doesn't mean that I dismiss everybody that was bad. I dismiss good people too. But I live more peaceful. And I see things more clear now. Even for myself. See what else is here for um Aries? Skip thanks, man. Somebody's coming through and they're coming good. They're coming very stable, very abundant. It's, I feel like this person is gonna be very handsome. That doesn't matter anyways because it looks is not everything. But I feel like it's a person that's gonna allure you, even if they're not your type. I feel like this person has something that's gonna allure you to them. Okay, and you're gonna say that's, that person's not my type, but there's something about this person's what I'm picking up here. It's gonna be past, present, or future for Aries. Let me see what else. Okay, you got the hand of cards. Play your cards right, okay? So whatever you do in life, whether it's, you know, a relationship, business, money, work, whatever it is, play your, your cards right. Take a gamble. 
go out there have fun meet people it doesn't matter who comes in there's celebration here okay it doesn't matter with who it is my god these cards and my nails right now um there's celebration here go out have some fun do something now on the fourth of july if you haven't done anything for years i feel like some of you haven't done anything for years go out have some fun go with somebody it doesn't matter your children it doesn't matter you're going to meet people positive people here they're going to keep on continuing to be your friends and family and possibly family for a lifetime people that you could trust and you need that okay take take risks take chances do things that are spontaneous and play your cards right you got bold here let me see progressing moving forward putting closure to they're no longer putting closure to things let me see You got a hammer here. Rebuilding. You have to work on rebuilding because the, there's been a lot of repetitive things going on here. Repetitive. And it could be people that you've met, you know, whatever it is. But I feel like good things are coming here. You're going to receive what you want here with both. You're going to receive what you want here. There's a lot of things coming your way and arriving very soon, sooner than what you think. You're going to be able to, like, move on and put closure to certain situations and issues that have happened in your life here. You got wedding rings in the bottom. I cannot make this shit up. <laughs> Listen, you got wedding rings in the bottom, okay? Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Come on, Aries. You got somebody coming in that might be a potential, like, a love of a lifetime, a soulmate. Somebody that, you might even have a kid with this person is what I'm picking up here for some of you. Let me throw another one to do that like this. What else here for Aries? What do they need to know? Past, present, or future? Kisses. Kisses came out. Unconditional loving, giving, receiving, affection, falling in love. You got love coming in. So if you're wondering if love is coming in, if you're wondering if you're going to meet the right person, if you're wondering when the time is coming, it's coming now. You probably met somebody already. And if you're feeling or thinking that this is the one, you're questioning yourself, this might be the one. I'm going to say yes if you're asking yourself. Yes. It is the one. Let me see. What is here for Arius? Yeah, you got somebody here that's going to love you unconditionally, okay? That's going to treat you right, okay? You're probably going to freak out or trip out because this person's going to treat you so good you're not going to believe it, okay? Don't push back. Throw the walls down. Take them down. Open your heart because somebody's walking in. Anger. You got anger here. Safe to express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions are sacred somebody here you know it's normal because sometimes i come out of anger and it's because of my own traumas my own things whatever i'm going through but be careful with your anger because i feel like you're a person that's very nice but like i said i don't know what i said before but i know that you're a person that you're you're a person that's very loving and gives a lot but when you're angry get the fuck out of my way be careful with your anger okay so listen before you do things like Express yourself, express your anger in a positive way. Like, turn it into a positive thing. Remember, if you don't see the dark, you will never be able to get to the light. This horse's eyes are closed. Okay? So, it, it shows me, like, think before you react. Don't get too angry too quick. And if you're going to get an anger and you feel like you need to remove yourself, remove yourself. But there's somebody here that's very sad. And they're taking, you know, it comes off of anger. Somebody has bad health here. Somebody could be going through bad health. So you need to go get a checkup in the doctor. It doesn't always mean something bad. Yeah, somebody here. Hmm. That possibly did something wrong to you. Could be either in jail or prison and they're going through it right now. Or karma is going to hit somebody's ass here. Because I see a lot of abuse here that happened. 
somebody possibly here passed away but i see a lot of changes coming in a lot of ending of situations here be careful with somebody here and i always say that i need to stop saying that because people think i'm saying be careful because be careful i just that's just a thing that i say all day long somebody here is suffering of bad health it could be a family member it could be somebody close to you but I feel like somebody here is going to get karma up the motherfucking ass. They're going to get karma so bad, it's going to hit them every which way possible it can. For hurting you and for taking from you. Because I say it took a lot from you. Give me one more. It could be a main female. It could be a woman. But it could also be a man. And I feel like you've been thinking about this a lot but i feel like there's a main female like i said in your family that is a conniving ass person you got money coming your way you got a lot of opportunities coming your way, a lot of money abundance you know new things positive people coming your way go out have some fun you know open those gates of love like Tusi says you feel me like put on that song man and just listen to it open those gates of love because something's coming in okay i love you i uh, wish the best of luck and i'll see you later my loves